Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Dana Green. The season is only two games old and already it's been a roller coaster ride for BYU after the Cougars staged a miraculous comeback at Tennessee last week. Now it's on to 24th ranked USC tomorrow right here on ABC4 and the BYU fan base is once again pretty pumped up. There was a sea of blue and an ocean of orange in Knoxville on Saturday to watch BYU's stunning comeback win over Tennessee, and the players and coaches noticed. Yeah, and they were loud. And, I mean, you could hear them, you know, um, throughout the game, uh, cheering and making a lot of noise. BYU, BYU. So it was, it was a cool place to be, man. I, I think the, uh, yeah, it was a, a nice environment. It's a great experience for our players, but I think the fans had a great time too. The BYU fans were so well behaved, and Knoxville police captain posted a message on Facebook saying he must have given a hundred high fives. He heard "thank you for your service" dozens of times, and he's now a BYU fan. Just the people in in, in that area in Tennessee and in Knoxville were awesome. Really good to our families and friends that were there watching the game and. And uh, they're good to our, play, our players, too, so the hospitality was awesome. It's been four years since BYU beat a ranked team at home and a chance to play a school as prestigious as USC in front of their own rabid fans is a great opportunity. A historic, that's what I can think of. I remember when I was a little kid watching them and being like, oh, USC's playing Reggie Bush, man. Like These guys are, are the best of college football, so uh, I'm personally super excited to uh, play to these guys. I think what they're doing is really effective. There's a reason why they're ranked and why there's a lot of excitement going on with them. And so uh, we get them here at home. Just looking forward to matching up with them. Even though USC's freshman quarterback Keaton Slovis had a great debut against Stanford, the Cougars want to put as much pressure on him as possible. Yeah, our mindset needs to be uh, get to the QB as fast as we can. Uh, pressure the freshman quarterback. Um, that has to be uh, key for our defensive line. We need to get, we need to crush the pocket. Speaking of crushing it, Kalani Satake showed off his moves after they beat Tennessee. If the Cougars knock off the Trojans, maybe the offensive line will break it down. We're not the best dancers. Uh, when you're 6'5 and 300 pounds and white, <laughs> it's not the best, not the best combo for dancing. But there's a couple of the guys that can dance.